Television in India is a huge industry which has thousands of programs in many languages. The small screen has produced numerous celebrities. More than half of all Indian households own a television. As of 2016, the country has a collection of over 857 channels of which 184 are pay channels. History in January 1950, the Indian Express reported that a television was put up for demonstration at an exhibition in the Tainampit locality of Madras now Chennai, by B. Sivakumaran, a student of electrical engineering. A letter was scanned and its image displayed on a cathode ray tube screen. The report said that, I t maybe this is not the whole of television but it is certainly the most significant link in the system, and added that the demonstration of the sort could be the first in India. In Kolkata, television was first used in the house of the wealthy Neogi family. Terrestrial television in India started with the experimental telecast starting in Delhi on 15 September 1959 with a small transmitter and a makeshift studio. Daily transmission began in 1965 as a part of All India Radio Air. Television service was later extended to Bombay and Amritsar in 1972. Up until 1975, only seven Indian cities had television services. Satellite Instructional Television Experiment site was an important step taken by India to use television for development. The programs were mainly produced by Doordarshan DD, which was then a part of the air. The telecast happened twice a day, in the mornings and evenings. Other than information related to agriculture, health and family planning were the other important topics dealt with in these programs. Entertainment was also included in the form of dance, music, drama, folk and rural art forms. Television services were separated from radio in 1976. National telecast was introduced in 1982. In the same year, color television was introduced in the Indian market. Indian small screen programming started off in the early 1980s. During this time, there was only one national channel, the government-owned Doordarshan. The Ramayana and Mahabharata, both based on the Indian epics of the same names, were the first major television series produced. They notched up world record in viewership numbers. By the late 1980s, more people began to own television sets. Though there was a single channel, television programming had reached saturation. Hence the government opened up another channel which had part national programming and part regional. This channel was known as DD2, later renamed DD Metro. Both channels were broadcast terrestrially. In 1997, Prasar Bharati, a statutory autonomous body was established. Doordarshan along with the air were converted into government corporations under Prasar Bharati. The Prasar Bharati Corporation was established to serve as the public service broadcaster of the country which would achieve its objectives through air and Doordarshan. This was a step towards greater autonomy for Doordarshan and air. However, Prasar Bharati has not succeeded in shielding Doordarshan from government control. The transponders of the American satellites PA-1 and PA-4 helped in the transmission and telecast of DD. An international channel called DD International was started in 1995 and it telecasts programs for 19 hours a day to foreign countries via PA-4 to Europe, Asia and Africa, and via PA-1 to North America. The 1980s was the era of DD with shows like Hum Log 1984, Wagal Ki Dunia 1988, Bunayad 1986-87 and comedy shows like Ye Jo Hai Zindagi 1984. Other than the widely popular mythological dramas like Ramayan 1987-88 and Mahabharat 1989-90 glued millions to Doordarshan and later on Chandrakanta. Hindi film songs based programs like Chitrahar, Rangoli, Superhit Mukabla, and crime thrillers like Karamchand, Bayam Kesh Bakshi. Shows targeted at children included Divyanshu Ki Kahanian, Vikram Batal, Malgudi Days, Tenali Rama. It is also noted that Bengali filmmaker Prabir Roy had the distinction of introducing color television coverage in India in February to March 1982 during the Nehru Cup, a football tournament which was held at Eden Gardens, Kolkata, with five online camera operation. Before Doordarshan started the same during the Delhi Asian Games in November that year, the central government launched a series of economic and social reforms in 1991 under Prime Minister Narasimha Rao. 
Under the new policies the government allowed private and foreign broadcasters to engage in limited operations in India. This process has been pursued consistently by all subsequent federal administrations. Foreign channels like CNN, Star TV and private domestic channels such as ZTV, ETV and Sun TV started satellite broadcasts. Starting with 41 sets in 1962 and one channel, by 1995, television in India had covered more than 70 million homes giving a viewing population of more than 400 million individuals through more than 100 channels. Topic broadcast media topic There are at least five basic types of television in India, broadcast or over-the-air television, unencrypted satellite or free-to-air, direct-to-home DTH, cable television, and IPTV. Over-the-air and free-to-air TV is free with no monthly payments while cable, DTH, and IPTV require a monthly payment that varies depending on how many channels a subscriber chooses to pay for. Channels are usually sold in groups or a la carte. All television service providers are required by law to provide a la carte selection of channels. Topic broadcast television Topic In India, the broadcast of free-to-air television is governed through state-owned Prasar Bharati Corporation, with the Doordarshan group of channels being the only broadcaster. As such, cable television is the primary source of TV programming in India. Private channels were started in about 1995. Topic cable television topic As per the TAM Annual Universe Update 2015, India now has over 167 million households out of 234 million with television sets, of which over 161 million have access to cable TV or satellite TV, including 84 million households which are DTH subscribers. Digital TV households have grown by 32% since 2013 due to migration from terrestrial and analog broadcasts. TV-owning households have been growing at between 8-10%. Digital TV penetration is at 64% as of September 2014. The growth in digital broadcast has been due to the introduction of a multi-phase digitization policy by the Government of India. An ordinance was introduced by the GOVT, of India regarding the mandatory digitization of the cable services. According to this amendment made in the Section 9 of the Cable Television Networks Regulation Amendment Ordinance, 1995, the I&B Ministry is in the process of making digital addressable system mandatory. As per the policy, viewers would be able to access digital services only through a set-top box STB. It is also estimated that India now has over 823 TV channels covering all the main languages spoken in the nation. Star TV Network introduced five major television channels into the Indian broadcasting space that had so far been monopolized by the Indian government-owned Doordarshan, MTV, Star Plus, Star Movies, BBC, Prime Sports and Star Chinese Channel. Soon after, India saw the launch of ZTV, the first privately owned Indian channel to broadcast over cable followed by Asia Television Network ATN. A few years later CNN, Discovery Channel and National Geographic Channel made their foray into India. Later, Star TV Network expanded its bouquet with the introduction of Star World India, Star Sports, ESPN, Channel V and Star Gold. With the launch of the Tamil Sun TV in 1992, South India saw the birth of its first private television channel. With a network comprising more than 20 channels in various South Indian languages, Sun TV Network recently launched a DTH service and its channels are now available in several countries outside India. Following Sun TV, several television channels sprung up in the South. Among these are the Tamil channel Raj Television and the Malayalam channel Asianet, both launched in 1993. These three networks and their channels today take up most of the broadcasting space in South India. In 1994, industrialist NPV Ramasamy Udayar launched a Tamil channel called GEC Golden Eagle Communication, which was later acquired by Vijay Malya and renamed as Vijay TV. In Telugu, Telugu daily newspaper Inadu started its own channel called ETV in 1995 later diversified into other Indian languages. The same year, another Telugu channel called Gemini TV was launched which was later acquired by the Sun Group in 1998. Throughout the 1990s, along with a multitude of Hindi language channels, several regional and English language channels flourished all over India. By 2001, international channels HBO and History Channel started providing service. 
In 1999 to 2003, other international channels such as Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, VH1, Disney and Toon Disney entered the market. Starting in 2003, there has been an explosion of news channels in various languages, the most notable among them are NDTV, CNN Ibn and Aj Talk. The most recent channels, networks in the Indian broadcasting industry include UTV Movies, UTV Bindas, Zoom, Colors, 9X and 9XM. There are several more new channels in the pipeline, including Leader TV. Currently the major four cable general entertainment channels GECs that dominate the TRP rivalry are Star Plus, Sony Entertainment Television, Colors TV and ZTV. Topic. Conditional access system Topic. CAS or Conditional Access System, is a digital mode of transmitting TV channels through a set-top box STB. The transmission signals are encrypted and viewers need to buy a set-top box to receive and decrypt the signal. The STB is required to watch only pay channels. The idea of CAS was mooted in 2001, due to a furore over charge hikes by channels and subsequently by cable operators. Poor reception of certain channels, arbitrary pricing and increase in prices, bundling of channels, poor service delivery by cable television operators CTOs, monopolies in each area, lack of regulatory framework and redress avenues were some of the issues that were to be addressed by implementation of CAS. It was decided by the government that CAS would be first introduced in the four metros. It has been in place in Chennai since September 2003, where until very recently it had managed to attract very few subscribers. It has been rolled out recently in the other three metros of Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. As of April 2008 only 25% of the people have subscribed the new technology. The rest watch only free-to-air channels. As mentioned above, the inhibiting factor from the viewer's perspective is the cost of the STB. Topic. Analog switchover Topic. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting issued a notification on of November 2011, setting 31 March 2015 as the deadline for complete shift from analog to digital systems. In December 2011, Parliament passed the Cable Television Networks Regulation Amendment Act to digitize the cable television sector by 2014. Chennai, Delhi, Kolkata, and Mumbai had to switch by 31 October 2012. The second phase of 38 cities, including Bangalore, Chandigarh, Nagpur, Patna, and Pune, was to switch by 31 March 2013. The remaining urban areas were to digitize by 30 November 2014 and the rest of the country by 31 March 2015. Indicates the date when analog signals were switched off and not necessarily the date when 100% digitization was achieved. Topic phase I topic From midnight on 31 October 2012, analog signals were switched off in Delhi and Mumbai. Pirated signals were available in parts of Delhi even after the date. In Kolkata, on 30 October 2012, the state government refused to switch off analog signals citing low penetration of set-top boxes STBs required for receiving digital signals. The INB ministry did not push for switching off of analog signals in Kolkata. After approximately the center estimated that 75% of Kolkata households had installed STBs, the ministry issued a directive to stop airing analog channels in some parts of the city beginning 16 December and completely switch off analog signals after 27 December. On 17 December 2012, the West Bengal government openly defied the directive and stated that it would not implement it. The state government then announced that it would extend the deadline to 15 January 2013. The INB ministry had initially threatened to cancel the license of multi-system operators MSOs in Kolkata if they did not switch off all analog channels. However, the ministries softened their stand following a letter from MSOs, explaining how it they were sandwiched between divergent orders from the central and state governments. In Chennai, the deadline was extended twice to 5 November by the Madras High Court. The extension was in response to a petition filed by the Chennai Metro Cable TV Operators Association CMCOA, who argued at the beginning of November that only 164,000 homes in Chennai had the proper equipment, and 3 million households would be left without service. 
When a week later only a quarter of households had their set-top boxes, the Madras High Court further extended the deadline to 9 November. The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting stated that it would allow an additional extension to 31 December. As of March 2013, out of 3 million subscribers, 2.4 million continued to be without set-top boxes. A similar petition, filed by a local cable operator LCO, to extend the deadline in Mumbai was rejected by the Bombay High Court on 31 October 2012. Topic phase EI topic In the second phase, 38 cities in 15 states had to digitize by 31 March 2013. Of the 38, Maharashtra has nine cities, Uttar Pradesh has seven and Gujarat has five. About 25% of the 16 million households covered did not have their equipment installed before the deadline. Secretary Uday Kumar Varma extended a 15-day grace period. The INB ministry estimated that as of 3 April 2013, 25% of households did not have set-top boxes. Enforcement of the switchover varied from city to city. Vishakhapatnam had the lowest rate of conversion to the new system at 12.18%. Other cities that had low figures included Srinagar 20%, Coimbatore 28.89%, Jubalpur 34.87% and Kalyan Dambivli 38.59%. Topic satellite television Topic As of 2016, over 1600 TV satellite television channels are broadcast in India. This includes channels from the state-owned Doordarshan, 21st Century Fox-owned Star TV, Sony-owned Sony Entertainment Television, ZTV, Sun Network and Asianet. Direct to home service is provided by Airtel Digital TV, Big TV owned by Reliance, DD Direct Plus, Dish TV, Sun Direct DTH, Tata Sky and Videocon D2H. Dish TV was the first one to come up in Indian market, others came only years later. These services are provided by locally built satellites from ISRO such as INSAT 4CR, INSAT 4A, INSAT 2E, INSAT 3C and INSAT 3E as well as private satellites such as the Dutch-based SES, global-owned NSS6, THAICOM2 and Telstar 10. DTH is defined as the reception of satellite programs with a personal dish in an individual home. As of December 2012, India had roughly 54 million DTH subscribers. DTH does not compete with CAS. Cable TV and DTH are two methods of delivery of television content. CAS is integral to both the systems in delivering pay channels. Cable TV is through cable networks and DTH is wireless, reaching direct to the consumer through a small dish and a set-top box. Although the government has ensured that free-to-air channels on cable are delivered to the consumer without a set-top box, DTH signals cannot be received without the set-top box. India currently has seven major DTH service providers and a total of over 54 million subscriber households in as of December 2012. Dish TV, a ZTV subsidiary, Tata Sky, Videocon D2H, Sun Network owned, Sun Direct DTH. Reliance Digital TV, Bharti Airtel, SDTH Service, Airtel Digital TV, and the public sector DD Direct Plus. As of 2012, India has the most competitive direct broadcast satellite market with seven operators vying for more than 135 million TV homes. India overtook the USA as the world. S largest direct broadcast satellite market in 2012 the rapid growth of DTH in India has propelled an exodus from cabled homes the need to measure viewership in this space is more than ever AMAP the overnight ratings agency has mounted a people meter panel to measure viewership and interactive engagement in DTH homes in India topic <laughs> internet protocol television IPTV Topic. There are IPTV platforms available for subscription in India in the main cities as broadband internet in many parts of the country, they are 
iControl IPTV a joint venture between MTNL and BSNL also in association with AKSH Optifiber a company that also provides FTTH and VoIP services available in some of the main cities in India such as Mumbai which has about 200 television channels on offer with Time Shift TV in a number of basic and premium packages including movies on demand offered at various basic, premium and pay-per-view rates and other services such as an interactive karaoke channel. The IPTV operator uses the Utstarcom RollingStream IPTV solution as its end-to-end -end delivery platform. Airtel IPT available in some of the main cities in India such as New Delhi and Bangalore which has about 175 television channels on offer with Time Shift TV in a number of TV packages and a small number of television channels offered on premium subscription rates including movies on demand offered at premium and pay per view rates SVOD and other services such as digital radio and games. The IPTV operator uses the Utstarcom RollingStream IPTV solution as its end-to-end -end delivery platform. Platform. Smart TV Group also operates an IPTV platform based on the Sea Change International IPTV and Cisco IPTV standards in many parts of India with the following services 185 TV channels on various basic and premium packages, 40 TV channel catch up TV service, 250 hour personal video recorder, a 5000 plus hour movie library. Digital radio and karaoke service the service is available to MTNL and BSNL broadband internet customers. Reliance IPTV is an IPTV service operated by Reliance Communication. The telco uses the Microsoft MediaRoom IPTV middleware software as its end-to-end -end delivery platform, with around three TV packages on offer. The service is currently only available in Mumbai. APSFL is a provider of IPTV service. This service was launched in 2016 and it offers over 250 channels out of which 38 are in HD. It is currently only available in Andhra Pradesh. Topic programming topic The typical Indian soap opera is by far the most common genre on Indian television. Fiction shows which also includes thriller dramas and sitcoms are extremely popular among Indian audiences, as they reflect real family issues portrayed in a melodramatic fashion. There are thousands of television programs in India, all ranging in length, air time, genre and language. The Hindi and Tamil television industry is by far the biggest. However, some have much greater influence on the audiences, and therefore make the annual list of the best Hindi shows. The present status follows, topic list of top 5 Hindi GEC urban plus rural television shows in India week 42, 2018 topic source, Bark India topic list of top 5 Tamil GEC urban plus rural television shows in India week 1, 2018 topic source, Bark India topic sports topic major sports networks include Star Sports, Star Sports Network, Sony 10, Sony 6, Sony ESPN, ESPN Asia, D Sport and DD Sports. Topic audience metrics Topic Television metrics in India have gone through several phases in which it fragmented, consolidated and then fragmented again. Topic Dar Topic During the days of the single channel Doordarshan Monopoly, Dart Doordarshan Audience Research Team was the only metric available. This used the notebook method of recordkeeping across 33 cities across India. Dart continues to provide this information independent of the private agencies. DART is one of the rating system that measures audience metrics in rural India. Topic TAM and Intam In 1994, claiming a heterogeneous and fragmenting television market org MARG introduced INTAM Indian National Television Audience Measurement. Ex-officials of DD Doordarshan claimed that INTAM was introduced by vested commercial interests who only sought to break the monopoly of DD and that INTAM was significantly weaker in both sample size, rigor and the range of cities and regions covered. In 1997, a joint industry body appointed TAM backed by AC Nielsen as the official recordkeeper of audience metrics. Due to the differences in methodology and samples of TAM and INTAM, both provided differing results for the same programs. In 2001, a confidential list of households in Mumbai that were participating in the monitoring survey was released, calling into question the reliability of the data. This subsequently led to the merger of the two measurement systems into TAM. For several years after this, in spite of misgivings about the process, sample and other parameters, TAM was the de facto standard and monopoly in the audience metrics game. 
Topic in 2004, a rival ratings service funded by American NRI investors, called Audience Measurement Analytics Limited AMAP, was launched. Although initially, it faced a cautious uptake from clients, the TAM monopoly was broken. What differentiates AMAP is that its ratings are available within one day as compared to TAM's timeline of one week. Topic Broadcast Audience Research Council Topic BARC Broadcast Audience Research Council India is an industry body set up to design, commission, supervise and own an accurate, reliable and timely television audience measurement system for India. It currently measures TV viewing habits of 183 million TV households in the country, using 30,000 sample panel homes. This will go up to 50,000 in the next couple of years, as mandated by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. As per BARC India's Broadcast India by 2018 survey released in July 2018, based on a sample of 3 lakh homes in the country, TV homes in the country have seen a 7.5% jump, outpacing the growth of homes in India which grew at 4.5%. India currently boasts of 298 million homes, of which 197 million have a TV set, having an opportunity of almost 100 Minnesota more TV homes in the country, guided by the recommendations of the TRI Telecom Regulatory Authority of India and MIB notifications of January 2014. BARC India brings together the three key stakeholders in television audience measurement, broadcasters, advertisers, and advertising and media agencies, via their apex bodies. BARC India is committed towards establishing a robust, transparent and accountable governance framework for providing data points that are required to plan media spends more effectively. See also Indian soap opera List of television stations in India List of HD channels in India Entertainment industry in India Digital television transition in India References 